This is Patrice Wenling at the American Society of Hematology speaking with Dr. Sanset. Doctor, your study of early fibrolytics to prevent DVT, what did it bring to the table that's unique? Our study is really the first study to uh, investigate whether fibrolytic therapy can prevent uh, long-term outcome, uh, long-term sequela in patients with uh, severe proximal deep vein thrombosis. So what we found in this study was that we could reduce the long-term uh, outcome post-thrombotic syndrome in the patient who received uh, thrombolytic therapy. There has been some controversy given the expense and the risk of blading. Is this data strong enough to change practice? Well, in the past we used a systemic uh, treatment that, that was associated with uh, severe bleeding complications, uh, which uh, uh, led to uh, not use that uh, therapy in praxis. But with this new type of treatment, I think we can see that the risk of bleeding is uh, lower and uh, so th that uh, the risk is uh, acceptable and uh, uh, that means that for the future I think we can use thrombolytic therapy for the treatment of these patients. Does the particular agent use make a difference? No, not really. I, I think uh, for this purpose we use uh, one uh, type of drug and that's Alteplase that has to be given uh, continuously into the clot. Do you feel that there's any particular patient in terms of level of DVT risk that would be beneficial, uh, this, this treatment would be particularly beneficial for? Well, our study is too small really to address that question, but um, my feeling would really be that uh, uh, the patients in question would be the patients with uh, more proximal thrombosis going up into the pelvic uh, veins or, or even up to the vena cava. And these are the patients that will benefit most from the treatment. But we need more studies to really show that. Thank you, doctor. Appreciate your time. Patrice Wenling from the American Society of Hematology.